Thank you once again for staying with me on Crunch Econometrics. This video concludes error components models. Here we'll look at the two-way error components model where we have the intercept that varies over entities and time and compare with a model that has a common intercept. In the previous videos, I have explained uh, pooled and panel regression and also specified the models. So to avoid repetition, I'm going to skip this section. So kindly uh, watch those videos to understand uh, the differences between pooled and panel regressions. In the same vein, uh, the poolability tests have been discussed in the previous videos and um, it's the same decision criteria. If the p-value is lower than 0.05, the null hypothesis of homogeneity is rejected in favor of the least squares dummy variables model. So if you are ready, please load your data and let's get started. So this is the data I've been using all along. I have 54 African countries, Algeria being country one, and Zimbabwe is country 54. Each country has 11 years, 2005 to 2015. And I also structured my panel along sub-regions. I have five sub-regions, and also along the regional economic communities, I have five of them. To capture the variation in the data, is a very wide data. I created regional dummies, you can see R1 to 5. I created time dummies, Y1 to Y11, you can see it all here. And also created 54 individual country dummies, which I showed in the previous videos. So now we proceed to estimate the two-way error components model, where we are going to include both the time and country dummies in the model. And another one will include both time and regional dummies in the model. So let us start with the first one. This is the code where we have factor variables capturing individual country dummies and factor variables capturing individual time dummies. So I highlight this and execute. So this is the result. Here we have the four regressors and their coefficients, out of which the log of uh, fixed telephone subscription is not significant. So let's check out our main uh, interest, which is the dummy variable. You can see here the country dummies are listed first because I indicated it first. It's a very long result because we are looking at 54 countries. So you can begin to see the significance, the p-values of the coefficients. So far, I have one not significant. There's another one not significant. That makes two. So only two countries' intercepts are not significant in this two-way error component model. So let's look at the year dummies. You can see all the year dummies here. And year 2006 is not significant. So now we have a very long result that captures both the countries and the time variation in the data. If you have been following my tutorials on the one-way error components models, by now you can interpret these results. So I'm not going to go deeply into results interpretation. So remember, you are only going to interpret results whose um, coefficients are statistically significant. For instance, I won't be bothered by interpreting the log of fixed telephone subscription because at 0.713, it tells me that this coefficient is equal to zero. So I won't be interpreting it. So only restrict your interpretation to significant coefficients. Also, for the dummy variables, for the country and time dummies, restrict interpretation to significant uh, intercepts and also interpret relative to the base country. I also gave actual interpretation as given by uh, Woodridge textbook. So please avail yourself of those information. So let's estimate Another two-way error components model, this time around, we are going to include the regions and the time dummies. So this is it here, already written out. I highlight and execute. So we have our results. We have the coefficients here. We have the regions and we have the year dummies. But what can we observe? All the regions are significant at the 1% level. The intercepts are significant. Same thing for all the year dummies. And look at the regressors too, all of them are significant at the 1% and 5% level. So give your usual interpretation in relation to the variables and also in relation to the um, dummy variables. 
you can refer to my one way error component models for guidance. So, next I proceed to perform the pullability test. We are going to test whether putting country dummies and year dummies is relevant. So, I execute that. So, this is the outcome of the pullability test with the F statistics at 280.56 and the p value less than 5%. We clearly reject pulling this sample together. So, we have to recognize the difference heterogeneities in this data. Therefore, the least square dummy variable is the most appropriate estimation technique to deploy. To perform the pullability test for the region and the year, I execute that and this is the outcome for the pullability test. Same decision criteria, the p-value is below 5%, therefore we reject the null hypothesis of pulling the data together. So if I'm to estimate this model for real maybe for a publication i have to include regional dummies and time dummies in the model so this video wraps up two error component models and also the error component series in general please support whatever you have watched by reading any of these textbooks the portions on panel data analysis and also my paper my paper is available on my website is available freely for you to download, but you have to cut it and check out at zero cost. I have put the link in the video description. Click on it and you have it. So all topics covered, avail yourself of these videos. If I'm too fast, you can pause so that you can actually get your understanding. Make sure you jot and refer to any of these textbooks that you can easily understand. Thank you so much for all the support I've received from you all from my subscribers and from viewers from across the globe. I appreciate those who have shared my links to their students. Um, if you are yet to subscribe, please do so. Crunch Econometrics teaches with simplicity. Please don't go away. I'll be right back.